president of the Illinois Nurses Association. I'm also a vice president affiliate of the AFL-CIO. I'm also a member of the Show Me Your Stethoscope organization, which is the major sponsor of the rally today. Thank you, Show Me Your Stethoscope. And without further ado, I will now uh, introduce Janie Garner. Janie Garner is the executive director of Show Me Your Stethoscope. She is the nurse who is responsible for Show Me Your Stethoscope, has become this huge nurse grassroots movement. And now, I'm sorry, she's also a military veteran and came from St. Louis, Missouri today. Please give a hand for Janie Garner. Hi everybody, welcome to Shift Report. <laughs> so, it is great to be here today with you. And mostly because what happened at Delner Hospital can never be allowed to happen again. I literally can't get through that story when I'm telling it without wiping my eyes because it's so ridiculous and, and frankly I'm afraid. And you should be too because this could happen to you any day. Any day that someone is not watching, decides to go against protocol, doesn't shackle an inmate, somebody comes in drunk on drugs into the emergency department, somebody's upset because their family member died in the ICU, this could happen to you, okay? I've personally been punched in the face by a patient, that's just one incident, because the patient was upset because they didn't receive, it, receive an opioid prescription for sciatica, for mild sciatica. <laughs> um, and of course, at the time, the police wouldn't arrest the patient, and I was also threatened by my employer about calling the police. This has to stop. We absolutely cannot ever allow this to happen again. That's right! Woo -hoo! You are a national resource. They cannot just get someone off the street to come in and do your job. You're not wiping butts and passing pills. You're critically thinking. You're picking them up off the road, okay? You may be a physician, you may be a nurse, you may be a paramedic, a radiology technician, pharmacist, but what you are is an integral part of the healthcare machine that has to keep running if people are going to continue to be healthy or to get healthy in the first place, because we know that's a pretty big issue right now in the United States. Talk about Dr. Tam in the Bronx, Dr. Graham in Indiana, the Delnor nurses. That's three months. That is three months, and that's two deaths, and two lives changed forever. And when it came out that the nurses were not seriously injured at Delnor, I was so furious that I said words that I promise I will not repeat in front of the children. And I said, we should go there. Hi. <laughs> so, so we're here, and part of, part of your job as a nurse is to be an advocate in any other discipline, okay? Your job is to be an advocate for your patients, but you're never an advocate for yourselves. We need to advocate for ourselves. That's why you're here. The people who aren't here, the people like me who came from Missouri and like, I think Andrew drove from freaking New Jersey, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're, we're advocates and we understand that it's actually our responsibility to change the policies in healthcare. And then there are the people who are at the nail salon today, three miles from here. You need to put your butt in a chair, get to these events, talk to your legislators, and do what you can do to change things instead of complaining. Do something, change something, okay? Here, today, we are stopping assaults on medical providers by raising awareness in the community that these things happen because I don't believe your grandmother knows that somebody could drag you off and rape you in a decontamination room. I don't think your grandmother knows that or I think she would be on the phone with her legislators. Okay, I'm gonna keep it short today because we're a little behind in our program. Um, but please, get online. Go to showmeyourstethoscope.org. Go to Show Me Your Stethoscope on Facebook. Go to the um, Silent No More Foundation on, on Facebook. And please, get involved with these events. Get involved with raising awareness and stop <laughs> martyring yourself to nursing. It's not helping. Amen. Amen. Yeah!
Yeah, Janie, you tell them. We need, we need to stop being martyrs here. We are people too. So next up, I'm gonna start moving on with uh, State Representative Margo McDermott from the 37th District. Welcome. She's the first one of several legislators that are here today. We need her voice. She needs to listen to our voices, and we hope she does. Thank you.